to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether well, it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing end them to die, to sleep no more. And by sleep we say to end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, so they can to sleep. And you a chance to dream. Aye, there's the problem. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long. Why? For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressors, of the proud man's contumely, the, the pangs of despise of law, the law of delay, the Insolence of us and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietus make with a bare botkin. Who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no travel returns? Puzzles the wheel and makes us rather bear those hills we have than fly to others that we know not of. As conscience does make cowards of us all. Thus, the native hue of resolution is sickly door with the pale cast of thought. With this regard, the current's turn I lose the name of action. Orson's be all my sins. It's just the